evening and welcome to The Hard Truth. Now, for the past few months, the Electricity Company of Ghana has been in the news for different reasons. Uh, from their proposal to the PURC for a 148% increase in electricity tariffs to their efforts to clamp down on power theft and rake in more revenue. And let's not forget about the current impasse between ECG and the Yellow and Lower Mania Krobo municipalities. One thing is for sure, ECG has definitely not been ideal, but how effective have their efforts and what does the future look for the electricity company of Ghana and for their consumers? To so discuss these and more, I have with me in the studio the managing director of the electricity company of Ghana, Mr. Samuel Dubik. Sir, welcome to The Hard Truth. My name is Nana Akusia Knura Santi Samuels and this is the hard truth. Sam, how are you? I am well under the circumstances. Yeah. But my name is Samuel Dubik Mahama, Mahama. not just Dubik. Samuel Dubik Mahama. Mahama yeah. I, I, I stand corrected. Now, you tell me that you didn't have any nickname back in school. I, I don't believe you. I honestly did not. I really? Was, I was a very calm, I, quiet I think guy. I should give you a name. I think you are. <laughs> Were you like this back then? Were you like uh, Yeah, I was tall and lanky. Not 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 this not this this, yeah. this huge frame. It came after. So, so after what name school. was you to you? I don't know. Teddy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> now yes. <laughs> I like it. T V. Yeah. Oh T V is bad. Yeah. We'll just go with Teddy Bear. <laughs> but again, welcome to the hard food. Thank you. Sammy, now the ECG's performance over the last ten years, you know, have barely changed and we've been witnessing losses and you know, and the company's always mad in debt. As the new person in charge, what are you going to do differently? Actually, what should actually where do I even start from? Because there are a few things that we need to tackle Obviously. as a company. The very first one is actually knowing our customers and having our customer database as current as can be. We have realized that we know our customers, but we don't really know our customers. So as I was speaking to you earlier, we are starting something within the Kwabenya area, which is tagging each and every customer <laughs> with a unique QR code. Mm. This unique QR code is supposed to have the data of, let's say, even the landlord and the tenant, and then also the last distribution transformer to the last wood pole to your meter, mm. and also your phone numbers and your GPS postcode. The whole idea is so we can start eliminating this whole story of, this is where I live, and I don't really know who my customer is or where my customer lives. So well, this is also allowing me to have direct access to the customer. My call center can operate at a better level than it is doing right Let's now. Let's do this. When you took over, I mean, what was the situation like in terms of, you know, commercial, technical and collection losses and what has improved? Um, commercial losses as of today stand at about 28%. Uh, with the technical side of the business, the engineering side, I'll say we are doing very well because it's been stationary for some time now and the service has been very good. We can all attest to that. But... The truth of the matter is when it comes to the customer service side, I do admit that we have a lot to do when it gets to that, part, that portion of our business. Mm. And that's where the revenue is. For some long time, because of how the system operates, and I'm not dropping the ball on anybody, because how the system operates, we don't really see ourselves as a company that is supposed to churn out a profit, but mostly we see ourselves as a social service. But mm. this... Under my tenure, I'm trying to change that. We need to start making profit. The world uh, benchmark for any electricity company or utility provider in terms of percentage loss of uh, power supply is about 5%. However, in the case of ECG, over 30% of the electricity supply by, uh, you know, due to its losses to commercial and technical challenges. How do you intend to, you know, tackle this? I'll go back again gap? and say 28%. I'm not leaving it at 30 because 1% can even change the dynamic. I'm listening. All these people you're comparing me to have gone digital. There's less human interface with their money. Everything is done on a portal and there's a proper registration mark for you to know how much money you are raking in on a daily basis. Mm. In the case of ECG, I have a lot of human interface with my money. And there are a lot of things that are, how I don't know how to put it. Um, we, we work with so much social 
social intervention at the back of our minds. Like what? Like, let's give them power. Oh, you know, yeah, hey. and yeah, that kind of thing. But it's getting to the point where what people don't understand and what people tend to say, when there's doom, so everybody looks at ECG. The truth of the matter is I'm just a distributor. I carry the power from the generators to you. So in that regard, I'm providing a service where I should not even be making a loss. The power producer produces the power. Gridco transmits the power to me at my bulk supply points. Then I then distribute to each and every person's home. Let's go back again. You said the other worlds are going digital. Yeah. So what, what are you planning on going digital? I'm planning on revamping my whole digital sector from my ECG application to my ECG website. Everybody needs to be able to address their issues through the website, through but, the But again, center. Sam, how do you now address, you know, uh, assertions that ECG's own inefficiencies and behavior, you know, is due to some of the behaviors of your staff? See, in every home, there's a problem. Right. When you come, as I keep telling everybody, I don't stand for the past of the company. I stand for the present and the future of the company. If you want to move with me, move with me. Let's change our own story because there's nobody coming to save us. We have to save ourselves. And as a company you're right now- You're just a person. You have these great ideas. I'm sure your predecessors also had similar ideas, fantastic ideas. So again, what are you going to do to make things different? Mine is to try and use technology to bridge the gap as quickly as possible. And by doing so, we know our true numbers. When we know our true numbers and we can do proper energy accounting and audit, then we'll be able to know for a fact how much power we are churning into an area. Truth is, I need to finish metering all my distribution transformers. Every single distribution transformer can tell me, I have, let's say, for example, I have 80 homes on every distribution transformer. If I read the meter on the distribution transformer and it says 100, 100, 100 units have been pumped into this area with the 80 homes, I have to compare that reading to all the 80 homes. If it doesn't add up, that means someone is stealing from me. Mm. And that allows me to actually come knocking on doors to say, hey, X, Y, let me look at what's going on. Let me understand what's going on. Currently, I'm having to do that. I'm having to change the story with the meter audit that I'm about, uh, that I've embarked on with the task force, we, where we are going to each and every person's home to look at their meters, to actually assess the meters, to know whether they are working properly or they are overbilling or, or what or they have been tampered with. There are a few illegalities that are going on in people's homes that is going to the point where we need access. I must admit. So are you making money? Are you making money as a company? As a company, we are making money. It depends on where you're looking at it from. Yes, we, we are making money. But as to whether the money is enough, that's another question altogether. So if, if you're making money, so tell us, are you making money or not? We are making money. Um, are you making profit? Right. As of last year, yes, we made profit. How much profit did you make last I, year? Off the top of my head, I don't want to guess. I don't want to play guesswork, but I'll get the figures for you. But no, that means, a range. We need to understand. I mean, we're having a conversation, so we are better not to get around. Don't give us a conch figure, but give us something. I don't want to speculate again because with figures, Sam. with my kind of background, with figures, it's kind of tight. I mean, no, because I don't know, if ballpark. you are making money, like you say, I understand that some of your suppliers, like those, you know, supplying with the meters have not been paid for over three years and, you know, it's affecting their performance and output. So has that changed? And are you able to pay your suppliers? So as it stands right now, we are about to pay our suppliers. We've hmm. come, we, we got, we got some good friendships going on at the Ministry of Finance and we have some good friendships also going on with the banks who believe in our work and understand that the kind of revenue we bring in is something that they should work with us. So currently, conversations are far advanced for us to get our suppliers situated very well. And these problems or these issues should be done before the end You're of the month. You're paying all back dating yeah, three years ago. All. All, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. all of it. Mo Do we but have timelines? Do we have timelines so that our suppliers are aware that I Mr. Must... Dubik Mahama said on the hard truth that from this time and that time, they'll be paid. I must what are the timelines say? I must emphasize that I am going to pay the suppliers whose products I use the most. That doesn't mean that people performing engineering works for me are not on the table. I didn't want you to let me deviate so that somebody would think that every single person that okay, I owe so is going to get let's paid. Let's do this. Let, let's talk about the category of people you are paying. Yeah. Which people are you going to pay immediately? So whenever you're sitting in a business like a utility, the mm. first place you have to target is where you make your money. The number one place where I make my money is meters. 
meters tell me how much money. The, it, the meters, what do you say? What are you going to pay them electro meter? Yeah, I'm going to pay them. Why are you are you are you holding brief for them? No. I'm asking you because I need so, Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay try do my best to pay or situate all my meter companies at a very good spot where they would be able to work better for me. I do understand their hardships. I do understand the fact that even they have to pay the taxes on stuff that they've supplied to me that I haven't paid yet. I understand the rules of the game mm. and I understand the pain they are going through. And with the conversations that have been had by now, hopefully by the end of the month, everybody should be the happy. The end of the month, August. Yes, everybody should be happy. Everybody should be happy. Everybody should be so, happy. Uh, now, let's talk about the group you are not paying. Yeah. Which group are not part of this? Why you say I'm not paying? I didn't say you I'm not paying. You mentioned, you said they are not pay. immediately. So let's so, look at the so second So there are people group. that, are, there are companies that are doing uh, engineering works for ECG. Mm -hmm. And as a company, we do, we do admit that there are people that we owe and we will do right by all of them. When? But... You see? No, because listen, if the meters when you are, don't pay them, it affects the whole system. So let then me explain. It, it slows down the whole machine. Or, when, you know. when, when you get your meters in place, mm. your money, your revenue is then naturally going to go up. Mm -hmm. I currently have people consuming off the grid that are not being metered. So that's all revenue that I'm losing that I don't know about. If I'm able to grow the pot, what happens? Everybody gets their fair share. As it stands right now, I'm not able to grow the pot. I'm not able to grow the pie. The pie is at a standstill, and everybody is still <laughs> eating the same slice, which makes it difficult to have a conversation altogether. But my point now is, meters are the quickest way for me to grow the pie. So that point where I need to grow the pie. So, so the meter supply has to be paid by the end of August. You just made. Oh um, yeah, I believe so. Fantastic. I believe so. Now again. Your company, ECG, is saddled with debt to independent power producers worth over $900 million as a, the end of um, the first quarter of this year. How much of this debt have you paid? I didn't know I was going to be asked this question and I've gotten the figures for you, but I know for a fact that some payments have been made with, uh, from the Ministry of Finance to those, uh, to those independent power producers. But don't forget... There's a system in place that gives all of these power producers money on a regular, which is known as the cash waterfall mechanism. Through this, whatever revenue I collect every week or uh, every month, the, about 60% of that money goes to these. Sam, I know you are very good with figures. You don't forget knowing you. You don't forget details. You know how much you pay these people. Again, I'll out rather, of the $900 million, how I'll much rather, have you paid? Tell us. We need to know. I, I'll rather defer that to the Ministry of Finance to answer because when those payments were made, they were made on my behalf, but I want them to speak to and it. I can't take somebody's glory. I don't. I don't want to take anybody's glory. It's the ministry that 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 paid the money. So I'd rather love for the so ministry. You paid to speak. some money. I know some money has been paid. Yeah, mm. but as to the quantum, I can't tell. I can't speak to. Now, many Ghanaians have expressed dissatisfaction on the service delivery of your company, CG. Uh, what again, Samuel Dubik Mahama, have you done to improve this since you came into office? Well. Upon assuming office, I decided to run a moratorium or some others will call it an amnesty. I do admit that my customer service needs some improvement and we are working on it feverishly. I decided to run a moratorium period for about a month when it was about to end. There were a lot of people at my offices, so I extended it for another two weeks. After the two weeks was done, I had over a hundred and something thousand people come up with mm. complaints. As you can see, I don't remember figures. 100,000 people that have come up to 116,000 116, people. Came up. Oh, you have the figure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Out of that, I identified that almost were people that I didn't know were on my network and were even enjoying power from me, which made me understand that, look, there's a bigger, there might be a, be a huge chunk. Someone who said these are the honest ones who've come forward. Mm. So in, to be able to improve on the service, I need access. And the access is that Everybody should just sit still. No panic. Allow me to count you. Allow me to know my meter. Some people's meters are above the requisite age of maybe, let's say, 10 years, 15 years, and are not reading well. Allow me to take this stock so I would know what to change. Mm. I know some people want postpaid. Some people want prepaid. It's a government policy that we are switching to prepaid. I need to know which meters I need to change. And so I just need access and when all of these meters are changed, 
we'll be having a different conversation. Mm. If I'm able to change your meter, and again, I know your geolocation, and I, I can have access to you, my customer service to you would be top notch. So, so how much money did you recover from, from this? Uh, the revenue, again, I don't know. I, I have to go speak to the paper. Sam. I don't want to speculate. That's the thing. No, because about 100,000 of these reports are comprised of illegal connections. So, yeah. Now, so will, some of them will your company charged. be handling these households and what timelines are we looking at? So the thing is this. Just like the meter audit, anybody who was found to have tampered with or who had bypassed is given 48 hours to respond to because now we are going to start prosecutions. Because right now, in truth, if you bypass a meter, you are stealing the power. I, I, I never heard of the announcement. I didn't read a newspaper. No one told me anything. I mean, I, are I, you don't, sure? I don't know anything. So this, this, for such people, this was one I mean, of the fair, biggest... one month isn't a short time for, you know, for such an I run the ad through the traditional media. I run it through social media. I, I don't have radio. You don't have radio. You don't, you don't read newspapers too. I don't, I don't read anything. Wow. What about Ghana Web or <laughs> all of that? I don't have radio. How can I go to Ghana <laughs> That's the mischief we are all talking mm. about. But we run it very well. The thing is, ECG reserves the right to prosecute. So let's not say we are going to be whimsical and, and just, just behave in all manners just to antagonize people or to put people in a tight spot. No, we are going to be reasonable in how we deal with people. Let's not forget, the ultimate goal is to get the money. Mm. So that's what, we are, that's what we are embarking on. Only recalcitrant customers are the ones who are going to be dealt with to a certain level. But aside that, every single person who, who knows something of that sort has happened should be prepared to be surcharged and should be prepared to pay. On the meta auditing exercise, which started 1st August a few days ago, uh, what has been the progress so far? Uh, I can speak to only one place, which is uh, Accra East, uh, within Accra East, which is Legon, which I had a figure of almost about 1,000 plus, mm. which if recovered properly, which were tampered with and all of that, 1,000 uh, plus, I think 1,003 something. Uh, the revenue, the revenue that's lost out of just a thousand people, is in excess of over two hundred thousand Ghana cities. So, and out of that, I think fifty thousand plus Ghana cities has have been paid. Mm. So, we are pushing forward with all the other people to get the to get the, the revenue or to get the money back into our, our coffers. But that that being said, it's it's this is an exercise that we need everybody's support. You need our support. Everybody's you need our support. support. We want to know the modalities of the exercise and the steps ECG is putting in place to protect customers from you know, falling into the hands of victims and anyone else who would want to take advantage of these customers. They are, they are very well identified in their, in, their, in their uniforms. They have their ID cards. And all we are asking for is access. Mm. We are asking for is access to audit the meter. You know, we walk around thinking that we own the meter. Sam, you talk like, so this is easy, your, your guys come to us. Um, well, I could say, your meter is faulty. Oh, I don't have money. Okay, you, let's fix it. Again, how do we protect ourselves? Because these things can still happen. But you, see, you are going around auditing. And, the and truth is, you also have to be bold and report some of these things. If everybody is to keep quiet about how my employees are behaving, then how would I know what to tackle? Because everybody no, has a story. Me. <laughs> to, to be very honest with you, everybody has a story. Mm. But I sit in that chair, I haven't had a single report. Everybody, oh, they are the same people that come. They are the same ones that say they can do this for you. Let's, let's help me make an example. Help me make an example so I can example. change the story. In making an example, Samuel, how periodic is this auditing going to be? And what's the, how do we prevent connecting after? So, you know, the disconnection. So I'm disconnecting from the wood pole. I'm not disconnecting from the meter. I am taking away your service line. I see. Not even I. We, as a company, we, as a company, have decided that all recalcitrant customers would be taking off from the wood pole. So you cannot connect. You touch it, it's an illegal connection, and you have a different charge altogether. Your other question was about um, how, how are we going about the process? We identify ourselves, you give us access, we let you know. Whatever assessment is done, you have 48 hours within which to appeal or appear in our office to have a discussion. And then however we choose to retrieve the money. Mm. If you feel you are not black or you don't you don't you're not supposed to do or pay or whatever, then we end up in court for a judge to decide whether you're stealing or or you were doing the right thing.
You see, the funny thing is, we walk around thinking it's our right to electricity. Isn't it? It's not a right. It's, it's a not. privilege. I see. It becomes a right when you are paying. Aren't we paying? Some are paying, others are not. No, but... And some are paying, again. others are not. Don't, others are... don't put... Don't, don't lump it together. You're just lumping everything together and see, it's not a privilege. It's a right see, because we've paid for it. That's the truth. That's what I'm saying. Some, I said it earlier, some are paying, others are not. Others have tampered with the meter. It's not reading right. Someone has had a prepaid meter that he's been paying only a certain set amount every single month. It's not possible. It's not possible. There's so much, there, there, a lot of people do not prioritize the payment of electricity bill. We don't, we don't, and, and I, it's, it's one of the most painful <laughs> things. We talk where, about priorities <laughs> after the break. You're so watching The Heart, we'll be right back. Welcome back. You are still watching The Hard Truth, MD for Electricity Company of Ghana. Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama is still here. Sam, let's talk about customer service proper. Now, <laughs> there's been loads and loads of complaints of, uh, you know, about the, your famous app, the ECG app. Uh, customers buy credit and it doesn't reflect. Uh, it takes several days or weeks to to do that and what are you doing to address these challenges relating to the ECG app? To answer that, I will say in the next couple of weeks that will be a matter of, of the past. There has been a group of people that have been working on this app before I assumed office. I have managed to get them to fast track the situation for us to go live very soon. It had mostly to do with uh, the front for, part. For you to go live very soon. So was it a for, for me, day, day? Was it fake? It I wasn't, mean, was it it wasn't that it wasn't fake. But, you know, yeah. with some of these things, you need money to invest to move it to a certain so point. So if you're not ready, why do you give us an app if it's if Well, it's we were ready for? at that point, but due to circumstances beyond our control. Like what? You know what? I said something to you. I stand for the present and the future of the company. Oh, Let's stop but, dwelling on the past. And let's fix we the fix problem. the past to correct the future. The future. But, exactly. But I am there right now, and uh -huh. I am fixing the past. And by me fixing the past, I am saying. So if the app wasn't about my working image. then, I mean, yeah. there was no beef for you to tell us to but go now, on the, the app. And... The app, when it was working at its maximum, was raking in about a hundred million in revenue a month. But due to our own inabilities and how difficult it had gotten to, now the app is bringing in an average of about thirty million. And we want, because we know how easy it will be for you to vent from your home on the app. Our whole plan is to do our best to get the app running at the maximum if, level, an app on steroids. So if, you have, if you can give me an app, 30 million, I think you can give me the other figures as well, because, you know, you just mentioned wow. 30 million for the app. So again, it's just <laughs> how much have you paid the power producers? As, honestly, as I said, off the but top you, of my you, head. On it's top of your head, you for, just mentioned that it's something for the Ministry of Finance to speak month. to. But I, I don't believe the Minister of Finance ministry. was on this show. So I think you missed your opportunity. So maybe we'll Seriously. send you, Seriously. we'll give you that answer in writing. <laughs> I hear you. Now, moving on to the current impasse between ECG and the people of Kobo, they didn't really have to get to that point where, again, ECG had to get to um, cut the power of the Kobo municipality for almost two weeks and we are still counting. It wasn't necessary. First of all, listening. I would not want to tag it with the name Krobo, 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 because of this whole, I do not want to look at business from an ethnicity point of view. I'm listening. What I'd like to say is that my customers, my customers in Manya Krobo and Yellow Krobo have had an issue with my company since 2014. 
from 2014 to 2017, their total debt stock was 168 million Ghana cities. There were issues of overbilling. There were issues of that led to all of these conversations and these impasse. We now said the overbilling, ECG accepted this fault in it and said, okay, we had a problem with our billing system and all of that. Now let's find a way forward. So as I'm speaking to you, all since 2014, some, I wouldn't say all of them, some people were paying, but some people at the most, a huge number, I say those who were paying don't even come up to about 6%. The rest were not paying. Now, fast forward to today. There were whole conversations about the way forward. I come into office, my question is, if I can chase people in Fadama to pay their bill by giving them prepaid, I should be able to do the same thing in Manakobo. If I can ask the people in Dansuman to pay bills through prepaid, I should be able to do that in Yellow Probo. So the conversation was, let's give you prepaid meters so that the issue of overbilling and billing doesn't come in anywhere. You take the prepaid, then what? You buy your power, you consume. Now- They said they had an agreement with the Nkoma, um, you know. My sister, if we to are to go on the, if we are to go on that tangent, I don't, I don't even want us to bring that into this because if we are to go on that tangent, then the people of La should say that they should be flying in the plane for free because the airport belongs to them. It's on their land. And what would the people of the Western region say about the oil reserves? And, so, uh, so yes, you have legit reasons to go for your money and you know so to, to my, give my, them my, my meters. But uh -huh. I'm running a business. I cannot treat anybody special from the other. And my point is, take the prepaid meters and let me give you power. They have been terrorizing ECG customers, uh, ECG employees. They have beaten some. Yes, we've, we've not had the best of relationships, I must admit. But in all of this... Why did you have to use the military as part of your tax force, considering that soldiers are not law enforcers? Are you looking at, you know, uh, that so, the police are not competent enough. Why didn't you even go for the, the police? Case. I decided to Why use, soldiers? The army officers you saw are from the engineers' regiment. They are all electrical engineers. My staff needed to be safe. We had a conversation. But they are soldiers. Yes. Yes. So, I'm not about so why I did you them use for the protection of my protection? Staff. Police are their law enforcers. The, so but why? Needed, why the I police? Needed, why the I didn't soldiers? Have the requisite numbers. To did, do the installation in record time. Did you talk to the IGP without I giving mean, you numbers? I mean, no, what are you talking you are about? No, talking about protection only. My exercise wasn't about protection only. When the pictures you see, you see the army officers installing meters. They are not just, they are on ladders. They are installing. Again, why the soldiers? Why not the police? Okay, as I said, yes. I needed the soldiers because I needed their electrical engineers. The army has an engineer regiment that has electrical engineers. I needed those guys. I picked them up. I took them to my training school. We stayed there for about two weeks with the blessing of the national security. And then we deployed out there to do the exercise. This exercise was going very, very well. So the police don't have engineers? I don't know. I, I, I can't speak to that and I'll choose not to speak to that eh, because I know what I decided to implement. But you know- Yes. But so you know, so are, are you saying that the, the soldiers are the only engineers in you, town? If you want the because I, I have a problem. Yes, I have a problem. I'm truth. listening. We have not had the best of relationships in Himania Krobo or Yellow Krobo so, in executing our business. So, so my staff needed the support they could get from who? From the national security, because we are running a business where, as you spoke about, they are independent power producers that we owe money. Mr. To. Dubik Mahama, did you talk to the police about, you know, protecting the police, you? The police at, a at the point, place? Mm -hmm. The police were part of this program. I think when the police were involved, I was, at the, I was on the board. Right. That I do remember. Mm -hmm. And they didn't the, help? The lights went, oh, they did, they, did, they did help. I wouldn't say they did not help. So, they did help. Right. What were you expecting them to do that they didn't the do? The police did very well. Okay. This issue or this decision had nothing to do with the inability of the Ghana police. Not at all. Okay, so why did you go for them? It had everything to do with me concerning my request for numbers for the job. I had to redeploy 
people from across the country. It's not sitting Africa. well with me. I'm sure it's not sitting well with many Ghanaians. What numbers are you talking about? What numbers are you talking about? Installation exercise. Right. Installation exercise. Right. Installation exercise. Okay. You need people mm -hmm. who are well versed in electrical yeah. to be able to do the exercise. What's the quickest way for me to add to my number of 100? I have, I have about 100 technicians out there that are pulled from around the world. Don't forget, I'm short staff. I'm short staff. I have over two, two point something million uh, postpaid meters. My meter readers are just 800. I'm short staff. So if there's a place where I can redirect to put the requisite numbers and start raking in revenue, of course I will do it. So the soldiers so, were the right option for you at the time? the right option for me at that point in time. For, because I needed to finish the exercise in record time. But look, at, look now brings us to where we are today, that they are off. They go there, they are doing this stuff. This is how bad it is. But I think you could have also asked the IG, the IG, do you have engineers that can help me? Because see, this is something. Before, you see, you I know that... Go, no. I don't want us to go into the intricacies of governance. Why not? I am a utility company. Yes. I requested for and, a service. And, wait, wait. And I'm you have customers, you know, and you need a relationship with your customers. Okay. So if I see a soldier coming at me to, to do what? To, to, to instill fear Madam, in me? The soldier is not there to instill any fear in you. The soldier is there for my protection. I started by saying... And the saying, police can't protect you? I started by saying we have not had the best of friendships in that area. I again reminded you. If you divide 168 million by eight or the present prevailing rate, you see the dollar value of what I am losing in the area. Nobody, up until today, 2022, July has ended August. Hmm. When I'm preparing my budget and revenue, I cannot add them because <laughs> history is not on my side. And we, I work for the state. The state cannot show that it's weak. We keep allowing certain things to go... Oh, Enyeshi, Enyeshi, Enyeshi. No. We are, we are Collect your money. So what? Uh, but you know, my only problem is the soldiers. That's, so that's me, my only me, problem. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me bring you to a, something that happened before they went off. Okay. I, there's a town that doesn't want prepaid meters. Mm -hmm. So because of that, they are cutting my fiber optic cable. They are disturbing my transmission lines. I disconnect them from the distribution transformer. We go to our base. We come back. The town has connected themselves to the to the network. How did they do it? You're asking me? I don't know. I'm sitting <laughs> here. I don't know. Now, it didn't stop there. They, this thing happens about twice. Then I say, oh, you know what, guys? Rather, let's now disconnect this distribution and transformer from the high tension. We disconnect from the high tension. Guess what? I'm listening. They connect back to the high tension. So, upon one of those evenings that we were done with our patrols, we were driving through the area. We get there, we see that the thing has been connected back to the high tension. The soldiers and my technicians get out to check. A mob comes out. The mob starts pelting stones and hitting them. If the soldiers were not there to protect my people, what would have happened? The police could have done any police. Uh, if, I don't want to have to dwell if, on if, this much. If, but... if they were provoked mm. and the shot had fired, there was a shot or something, what would have then happened? ECG goes to Krobo, or ECG goes to Mania Krobo, or ECG goes to Yino Krobo too. But so now that the chiefs are calling for a yeah, drawal yeah, of the wait, military wait, again. Wait, 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 wait. Don't jump. Don't jump. <laughs> Listen, talk to me. Talk to me. After the attacks on my people, my people don't feel safe to work there. Everybody beat a retreat. We left. We went back to the base. And that's how I say, with electricity, it's a loop. It's a grid. Mm. If somebody's tampering with it, you can't give the other person stab a stable power supply. And if we don't have access to the grid, how can we work? So I, we then decided to shut, shut down the line because... They kept on tripping the line that was leading to Somalia. So we then decided to shut down the whole feeder mm. because we need to shut it down, come and sit down, and let's have a conversation as to the way we are going to move forward. We cannot be operating the business and be seen to be giving some people some special treatment. We, that is not how this country But the cheese are also calling for a draw of the, for the military. Withdraw the military. So what? are you going to withdraw listen, them and by listen, their mandate? The, the, the chiefs and they are not even law enforcement. Are asking for us to forgive their debts. They are asking for the withdrawal of the soldiers. They are they ask they don't want prepaid meter. They should tell us what they want. Because the thing is, we are they at the point where they don't want to pay anything. I they, mean, what if they say they don't, we are yeah, not paying anything? If you don't want to pay anything, you have to start paying something from somewhere. If we as a country, because as I'm speaking to you. 
the money from this your show, your electricity that you spend here, will settle their debt. So you are paying for them. All of us have been paying for them since 2014. Mm. What, what, what's the honesty in that? How can we grow a country where a, group, a, a small set of people have decided that they are not going to pay? Imagine if the people of Ashanti also decide that we are not going to pay again. Then what happens to this country? We become lawless. So are we going to redraw them, the military? I am, I am not inclined you, to. Right. So when are you having any discussions? When are you having The conversations are going on. The conversations are still ongoing. My thing is this. If my staff don't feel safe, I cannot, I cannot operate. But you and know, my staff, you know no. that it's having an impact on your social life as well. You know that, don't you? Do you think? So why is ECG resistant? Do you, you think, know, to the calls of do you think, power? Do you think I'm excited about what's happening? And it's not like you said, power. six percent of them are on it already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So why but all of see, them? You see, why my, all of them? My, my 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 conversation again. Do not for a second think that I'm happy about what's going on. Mm. There are certain points in time, to be a leader, you have to stand up and be counted. If I really wanted to please everybody, I'd probably be selling wache or giving people ice cream. I have to make certain tough decisions. I know people, there are children there doing their wasi. I know, I, know, I know people have businesses that run on the power. But these are the same people since 2014. Some of them are not paying. And you and I are paying their bills. Why should we continue doing that? What kind of example are we teaching our children? I am saying, let's all stand up and be counted. Do your fair share as your civic duty. Electricity is a privilege. Don't think for a second that it's a right. So, yes, to, well, for the greater it's good... it's a right when we pay. I mean, exactly. Please put it right. Yeah. Now, the Minister of Energy set up a committee to find a lasting solution to this matter. What, what progress has it made? That we had, we had, we had a meeting. We had a meeting last week. We were supposed to have a meeting again. And uh, we are supposed to have another meeting with the national security. There are a few. Look, just last week, just last week, that was last week, Friday, they cut down my power transmission line. Someone took a chainsaw in the area and cut down my power line. How can I work in such an environment? How can I work? And now, these same people asking for power, if I'm to turn them back on, how am I going to transmit the power to turn them back on? When they've cut down the line, they were cutting their nose to spite their face. So what's the bottom line here, Sam? What's the bottom, bottom line, line is... What, what would you agree? Between you and I, you as a matter of urgency, when it comes to this matter? as a matter of urgency and to show goodwill and good faith, the line, the wood pole they cut down, I've, I've reinstalled it. Mm -hmm. It's up and running. Mm -hmm. I want to show them that I am not, I'm not petty. I am here to run a business. So what would you do and what would you reject? My point is that going prepaid is not negotiable. They shouldn't for a second believe that they're prepaid. Because right now you are, you are in darkness. You need your businesses. Just take the prepaid and pay. And let me now have the responsibility of monitoring to see whether you have bypassed the meter or not. Or whether the meter readings are right. It makes my work easier. It makes your work easier. You prepay for what you use. So for me, in all truth and fairness, as we've started, that's for the army. They are not going anywhere because I need them. I need them because it's also for the morale of my employees. My employees don't feel safe. These are mm. people's parents. These are people's parents who work in the middle of the night. The story of ECG has not been told and hasn't been told properly. Yeah, in the th middle there's a story there. Th in the middle of the we'll night... <laughs> You're still watching The Heart. We'll be right back to stay.
Welcome back. You are still watching The Hard Truth, uh, Managing Director of uh, the Electricity Company of Ghana, Mr. Jubik Mahama, right? Correct. Good. It's still here. Now, somewhere regarding the 140% uh, wait, 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 wait. Before you go there, I was telling you before you went on your break about the ECG story. Oh, my. Okay. There's right. a story Tell me there. the story. I'm listening. You know, we, in the middle of the night, let me give you an example. Around 11 p.m., mm. your lights go off. Mm -hmm. They come back on around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. when you're fast asleep. All you do in your sleep is say, oh, the lights are on, and that's it. That you is know. your job. Yeah. In it's the same your vein, job. In the same vein. It's not a favor. Oh, I, I mean, know. that's a favor. I know. It's the job. So let me land it's my... It's like nurses and doctors. You're in labor. You have to call the so, doctor to come in. You know? In the same vein, I am juxtaposing it to those who don't want to pay. If somebody's father will sacrifice his life in the middle of the night to give you power, what's your excuse for not paying? That's how, that's his livelihood. So that's the ECG story. That's the ECG story. <laughs> Lives are being lost on a regular. And that's a story that probably you need to take up on. Mm. Lives are being lost for people to have power. So let's 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 look at it in a greater good. And let's speak to everybody who is not paying. So to pay, pay your tariffs, everyone. Yeah. Pay your tariffs. Pay, pay your, your bills. bills. Your pay current your bills. bills. Pay your bills. Thank you. <laughs> Can we go on to tariffs? Let's go on to tariffs. Fantastic. Now, mm. regarding 148% tariff increase ECG, or you are asking for, the likelihood of you getting this percentage is quite low. So, again, Mahama, realistically, pay your calculations. How much do you think PRC is likely to? Grant you in the uh, you know agitations of Ghanaians asking the tariffs <sighs> to go down. For that, I don't really. I'm not really part of their deliberations. But you know, when the 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 work of tariff is to let them know what the real and actual situation out there is, and then they can now decide on what would be meaningful for the people of Ghana. Let's not forget, in certain parts of the world, if it's one forty eight, it's one forty eight. We'll get it. If you don't want to use electricity. They'll tell you, they'll point you somewhere else in certain parts of the world. Before I get misquoted that the ACGMD is saying <laughs> that if you can pay the tariff, mm. you should. But the truth of the matter is this. PRC reserves the right, and I don't want to encroach. I don't even want to be suggestive. Because I know, I don't know when the tariff is going to come out. And I don't want to say something and they go like, oh, so you knew this was what, so, I don't want so, to be speculating. Right. So if, let's hope it's granted, mm -hmm. what assurance will you give us that you know that your performance will be better? My main aim is to reduce my losses. Reduction in losses you... would generate, will bring in more revenue. Do you, do you care about your customers at all? I do. Listen, so I buy um, ECG credit for 200 Ghana cities. Hey, it takes a few days, then shim, it's gone. Why? Is someone, you know, doing... Nobody is doing, nobody is, you are doing using something. it. Someone how is many, doing how something. Many, how many air conditioners do you have in your house? I'm listening. Uh, you have air conditioners about four or five. Uh, apart from that, you have TV sets. Some, no, really. After, after TV sets, call, you have deep freezer. Some, let's let me talk. Yeah. You call and complain. Hey, your toy city, you have and it's gone. And then you mm. ask them, like, there's nothing in the home. See, so let's, I mean, first educate things first. us. First things first. Educate us. How come we just buy it and then she first things like first. that? If Why? you're having such a similar situation, mm. you need to get the wiring of the house checked. Maybe it wasn't done right. Mm. Secondly, after the wiring is done right, you check with ECG to come and do an audit on the meter. That would determine when all those things are powered in the house, if the meter is reading right. Because sometimes too, the meter is not reading right. But we do, I cannot, I cannot put the blame solely on the meter. Most houses that we've realized were not wired properly. And there, sometimes the cables that were used were inferior cables. So they are burning and all of that. We need to do the audits in your homes to be able to determine whether you are using the right uh, kind of cable, and if it's uh, the, 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 the the processing of uh, your meter is also right. Those are the first two things. Now there are certain uh, what do you call it, appliances that cause you more. So those are another other things that you need to check. Like which ones? I don't want to be speculative and tell uh, you that. What I want to tell you, you are is educating us. When you so buy, tell us when you buy, clients. so to educate Cubic. you, when you are buying something, look and read. It will tell you when you plug it in what to expect. Because right now, if I go and if I sit in this chair and say, 
Oh, microwaves consume too much. Somebody might decide to tell their nah, kids. But you're asking you. me how many ACs do yeah. I have. So it means you know. If I use ACs, that means that. But the ACs draw a lot of power. Oh. That one, no two ways. So, about yeah, so it. Which the ACs other ones? are one. Your microwaves are one of them. Uh, I'll just leave it at those two no, for but, now. But you know, these things are, you don't like put them on all the time. Hey. So, but, educate us again. But. If I buy 200 Ghana cities. And I say I'm, I'm wise in, in the way I use my things at home, my appliances at home. How should 200, how much or how many days will it take me? Can again, it take me? again, you're driving me into the arena of speculation. I'd rather say if you have that Please. and if, and you consume it in, let's say, in more, in, in let's say in three days or two days, you consume that, that amount, you quickly need to get my people to come and audit your meter. You need you really need to get us to and audit the meter. We have to pay something. Right no, now. the meter audit, you don't have to pay anything. It's our job. We'll come. You're not supposed to pay us a dime to come and audit the meter. We audit the meter. If it is faulty, we replace it. Because again, as I said, don't forget, you don't own the meter. The meter is my, the property of the electricity company of Ghana. Mm. It's given to you to measure. Now we pay for it. Don't we pay for the meters? I don't know where you got your meter. It's but free. but are they supposed to be free? You pay a service charge. So the service connection so, charge. So it's not and free. Compact, no. If we were to be billing you with the real amount of the meter, you will not be able to. Um, it, 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 then that's not the amount we are charging. So don't, so don't talk like it's, it's free 100%. I said free. you pay a service charge. That's a service connection. So if you ask, and it's part of it, it's like, the, 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 like I'm connecting you to my service. To put you in my service, you need a meter. Right. The meter, you, I'm not asking you to buy the meter. I'm putting the meter there with the cables and all of that for me to give you the service and then measure the business. So that's what we are doing. It's not, it's not aimed at being sold. No, that's not there. So from what you said, what, what critical issues have to be addressed uh, for consumers to be able to enjoy more affordable electricity supply? We need to pay our bills. That's it? That's it. Because... Don't you have old um, equipment that, that needs to be fixed? Don't you have um, things like that that you need to look at? If I don't have money, how can I look at them? We sit here, we talk about everything, it still boils down to money. If you don't give me the money, the little that I'm doing in my little corner to give you the power, you take it and you don't pay. So how are my staff supposed to even live, live well? How am I supposed to take care of my staff? And how am I even supposed to get them the right equipment I think we should to all work? work for ECG then. If, if, if all you think about is your staff and the con uh, customers of yours, then see, see, you should all the best be way, customers the, the of best way to grow your business. ECG. The best way to grow your business is to have your staff interest as paramount. If if you like the way I'm speaking and you want to come and work at ECG, well, you can come and join us. Okay, so we don't I'm have a problem. My application we don't, to you. you handle via your application. Right yeah, you can join us. Mm. I, my staff are number one. They are my priority. Them being able to execute their work and do their work very well is the utmost priority for me. So for me, if everybody's paying their bills and my staff have the requisite equipment to work, we shouldn't have a problem. Now... Mine is to distribute the power. Again, I'll remind everybody, if yours is to sit down and think that ECG is here to solve doom so or ECG is the cause of doom so, then you don't understand the whole transmission idea of power. I see. So in your, or in the next two years, what, what is your vision for ECG and um, what would it take to achieve it? In all fairness, it will take a lot of diligent work and a lot of manpower on the ground. The first thing that ECG needs to do is to be able to tag each and every customer. That's number one. By tagging the customers and even identifying their customers will reduce ECG's losses. Knowing where each and every customer is and each and every meter is, is the quickest way to reducing our losses. Now, secondly, our metering of the distribution transformers will help us to go into an accounting and audit mode for power. Right now, ECG is done with the regional boundary metering. We are left with the district boundary between and then the, the, the decision transformers. If this is done, we can now actually measure the amount of power we pumped into NEMA and how much is lost. Mm. So it will be on a case-by-case -case basis and then we'll be able to move forward and, and work better. I see. Samuel, as a Ghanaian, what are your thoughts on the attempts by the Electoral Commission to make the Ghana card the only card for voting purposes? Ah, wow, that's a huge curveball for someone talking about power. I'm listening. Honestly, I think it's not a bad idea, but I think dialogue should prevail. 
I think with the numbers that do not have the whole Ghana card yet, I think dialogue should just prevail. And maybe we should just fast track. Whatever we've decided to use, we should just fast track it. Just a Ghana card only. I mean, that's, we have passport, we have other uh, identification But you know, the thing, about, the, the thing about the Ghana card is that biometrics just like the passport. Mm. So a few people have passports. I think the main problem there would be about people vouching. Because we have that when you're doing the voters register. That when you are going to do your voters register, some two people can come and authenticate whether you are really a Ghanaian or they know you. I think that's where the problem is because if you go to my village in Jimbale in the Bumpugu, uh, in the UU constituency and the Northeast region, how many people have passports? The, 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 the number of passports, but they would all be able to vouch where, which house you were born in mm. and be able to speak to that. So if the Ghana card would allow, for something like that to be looked at and added, I don't think it's a bad idea because I think very soon Ghana card is the way to go. Let's talk about cost of living now. Yeah. It's so high, we're all complaining. From where you said, um, has the government failed Ghanaians? I don't think the government has failed Ghanaians. I'm listening. I think, I think the government has been very honest with Ghanaians. I think we find ourselves in very trying times. Uh, just a weekend ago, I saw the SNP report and they went ahead to downgrade Ghana, yet in the analysis went ahead to say it's, it's not Ghana's fault. It's due to what we all don't want to hear, COVID and the Ukraine-Russia war. Let's be honest with ourselves. Are you being honest with your own self? Yes, I am being. You are being honest with your I'm own being self. Extreme. Are you saying this because you are the MD for electricity company of Ghana and someone put you there? So you want no, to just talk for not them. at all. Looking and at be, me right now. I would be extremely honest with you. Right, I'm listening. Because I'm also Don't feeling... Don't you think that, you know, government is failing us? Do you walk around? Do you go to the fuel station? Do you see the prices there? How does that make you feel as a person? Look... Certain times, there's the truth and there's the truth. I'm listening. Nobody needs to pad the truth. I think for once in our lives, we have a government that has decided that we need to know the honest truth. Mm. And we need to take the bull by the horn. We need to take certain decisions that are bold and that are very strong to see our country grow. We need to embrace that. Because if we... So it's if not we, a government's fault. It's not. I, it's, I would it's, not, it's say, I would not say. I would not say it's entirely... It's, it's a global phenomenon now. You, you travel. Right. I don't remember the last time you traveled. I'm listening. Tell me what you saw. What? How many, how many stores have closed down? How many of your favorite departmental stores outside there have closed down? So? So the truth of the matter is, we shouldn't sit down and behave like we, we, we do not want to take cognizance of what's happening around us. I don't, I don't want to sound like I am not uh, being considerate. And I don't want to sound uh, like I am. Are you? Pardon? Are you? I am being very considerate. Really? Because this is, this is me running a company where people are not paying. But I'm still giving them power. This, the, that's the true facts of our, our country we grew up in. We, 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 we are in a phase where when someone speaks the truth or someone shows some form of confidence, so the person are we, is arrogant. Should we applaud the government? I mean, finally, you think our, our government is doing what we should applaud them? I believe so. It's Under the positive. circumstances, nobody, no, look, again, it's sad you brought me into this situation because I don't see myself, I didn't see myself answering a question like this, but I'm going to answer to the best of my ability. During the whole COVID period, how many people lost jobs? How many people lost their jobs? People were home and were getting paid. Look out there, look elsewhere in other countries, how many people left their jobs? Again, during COVID, Look at, look, at, look at how a whole country that's a capitalist economy became a socialist economy. And I'm doing that and to cushion the people. Imagine what that takes. It's money. Money that you hadn't budgeted for. Something that you never had plans for. As Mike Tyson said, you walk through this life with a plan. You walk into a ring with a plan until you're knocked in the nose. And then you have to readjust. So for what has happened to them... For me, it would be disingenuous to compare a pre-COVID economy to a post-COVID economy. Mm. Knowing very well that even the U.S. have had to adjust. A lot of countries are adjusting. I if we that. had stuck to our plans or we had, if we had, uh, if the economy, the pre, there was no COVID or there was no war and you were juxtaposing what is happening now. So are you saying before COVID, we didn't have problems, we didn't have issues, everything was fine, we're like, 
Ghana who I'm saying before Ghana. that everybody had a plan. You have a master plan. And COVID happened. And then COVID happened. Okay. How do you pick yourself up from COVID? So this government is doing well under the they are doing. They are doing well under the harsh circumstances. I hear you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I'm grateful. So the managing director of um, the electricity company of Ghana has been my guest, Mr. Deepak Mahama. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure having you, sir. I'm grateful. Now, what do you make of the performance of ECG and what are they doing better and what can they improve? Uh, we have seen in recent times a consistent use of soldiers for duties which fall under the mandate uh, of the police. By the mandate, the police are the law enforcers of the law. They, they enforce the law and not military. So why is this trend? Is this a case that the police is incompetent or what? And is this trend healthy? IGP, Dr. Downpari, I would like to have you on my show, The Hard Truth, the next time. So I hope you get this message. So guys, share your thoughts on our social media platforms uh, on the screen right now and the catch of the program on Saturday at 2 p.m. on Joy News. My name is Nana Akusi Akunura Santi Samuels and uh, you've been watching The Hard Truth. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good evening.